वेलकम टू वी लर्न वर्चुअल लर्निंग नेटवर्क दिस इज सेशन नंबर ट्वेंटी फोर वुमेन टॉपिक्स विच वी आर गोइंग टू कवर इन दिस सेशन आर रिफॉर्म्स फॉर वुमेन इन द नाइनटीन एंड अर्ली ट्वेंटी एथ सेंचुरीज एजुकेशन फॉर वुमेन एंड वुमेन इमर्जिंग विद आइडेंटिटी वुमेन्स इंडिपेंडेंट पोलिटिकल आइडेंटिटी major issues confronting women's unity or united moment women in politics or politics by women coming towards the first topic reforms for women in 19th and early 20th centuries the 19th century could well be called an age for women their rights and the wrongs done to them as well as their capacities and potential used to be the subject of heated discussions in europe and even in the colonies in india the wrong against women begin to deplore by social reforms against sati the indian borogis class that was born born out of westernization sought to reform the society by initiating the campaign against caste dualism idolatry animism prude child marriage sati and the like the foreign missionaries had branched these as example of hindu barbarism thus creating enough groups for the colonial powers to rule widow remarriage in 1950s pandit ishwar chandra vidya sagar like pandit mrityunjay proved from the shastras that the remarriage of a widow is allowed this was a long difficult journey through debates with orthodox pandit and joking from some of the pillars of them hindu society a widow remarriage association had started in madras in 1871 but was short lived 40 odd years since the act was passed there had been 500 500 widow remarriages only do social reform organization campaigning the cause had mushroomed all over india the majority of them were child or virgin widows widows from the upper caste who were not virgin could not and did not remarry rehabilitation of prostitute According to the report of Amrit Bazar Patrika of 1869, 90% of Calcutta prostitutes were widows, of whom a large number came from Kulbin Brahmin families. The Kulins were the most detestable group of Brahmins, whose socially sanctioned livelihood was to go on marrying and collecting dowries. we must make special note of the fact that vidya sagar the first and the greatest prota- protagonist of widow remarriage felt a normal repu- uh, repugnance towards this scheme of rehabilitation of the prostitutes and did not think of stopping this abhorrent practice of polygamy arya samaj Swami Dayanand was rather revolutionary for his time. He disowned the caste system and prescribed equal treatment to women, quoting from the Shastras. His Arya Samaj did not impose any duties or obligations on women which could not be applied to men according to the Hindu lawgivers. The Brahma Samaj that started as a protest against idolatry and the backward pulling norms and rituals of brahminical hinduism 
was not free of the stereotype nation about girls and women the nation continued till the later stages of our freedom movement the only dissent voice was of subhash chandra bose prohibition of child marriage in 1860 an act was passed fixing the age of consent at 10 Behram Malabari himself not a Hindu she a Parsi started a campaign in support of this act toward the end of the country century he could manage to convince a good number of lawyers doctors teachers and public servants in 1891 tilak had led an agitation against the act and a modern visionary like tagore has opposed in words and deeds education for women and women emerging women in literature and literature by women novelist like nirupama devi and anurupa devi started getting referred to the to in the bengali literacy circles and were even given membership of literacy club which were dominated by men tigo's novel and short stories are full of women character who excel their husbands and other male administ women for rights sarojini naidu waited upon the committee headed by montage and lord clemsford to demand a series of reforms in condition of indian women sarla devi made representations before the committee on behalf of bharat stri mahamandal mai bhagwati and updeshika of the arya samaj had a confidence to speak in a large public gathering in haryana In 1881 Manorma Majumdar educated at home by her husband was appointed dharma pracharika by the Barisal Brahma Samaj as expected lot of heated debate followed questioning the wisdom of carrying the issue of women equality little too far Rabindranath Tagore's sister Swarna Kumari Devi launched Sakhi Samiti with the aim of training widows to learn to teach and thus become the most powerful agent of spreading education among women. Swarna Kumari Devi, daughter Sarla Devi, was strike uh, strikingly stubborn. She wanted to flee the cage or prison of home and establish her right to an independent livelihood. like man in 1905 to 1908 swadeshi movement in bengal reflected the beginning of a women's participation in nationalist activity on a larger scale many of wives sisters and daughters started forming support group for the movement middle class nationalism inspired women and girls who gave away jewelry as well as money purani agyavati a women member of hisar arya samaj toured almost all over punjab pleading mothers to bring up their son not for government service but as independent manufacturer and traders of swadeshi she also tried to convince that strict and bling observation of caste norms prevent the mothers from giving great sons to the nation women for equality speaking to the indian social conference at calcutta in 1906 a disclosure on equality began to develop in the late 1910s and 1920s all among women they used nationalist argument to defend their demands for equal rights urmila devi a militant woman defined swaraj as self rule and swadhinata as strength and power to rule over oneself 
Prabha Devi worked for the group in USA called Freedom for India and Ireland and Renuka Ray was associated with the League Against British Imperialism in England. Prabhavati married M. N. Roy, the pioneer of communist movement in India and got equally involved with the resolutionaries and the communists. She joined hands with Muzaffar Ahmad, poet Nazrul Islam and Himanta Kumar Sar Sarkar to organize the scavengers as a member of workers and peasants party. Discrimination against women in politics No woman was chosen by Gandhi in his long list of 71 marches of Dandi. Well-organized women like Kushid Naraji and Margaret Cousins protested strongly. But Sarojini Naidu defined and joined the march at Dandi at the final stage and was the first woman to be arrested in that moment. Once defiance cleared the path and thousands of women joined the Salt Satyagraha. Women's Initiative in Politics Leelavati Mitra helped Vidya Sagar in, 19, in 1890s to perform widow remarriage by sheltering willing grooms. Kamini Roy was active in Albert Bell agitation, organizing girls at the Bethune School to hold meeting and wear badges supporting the bill. Igor Kamini Nair Samiti mobilized opinion against the ill treatment of women workers by the TP Sint. Women Terrorist Kumudini Mitra had organized a group of educated Brahmin women who laced between the revolutionary in hiding. Women got increasingly involved with the revolutionary group popularly known, feared and revered as terrorist. December 1931, Shanti Ghosh and Suniti Chaudhary shot a district magistrate, Mr. Stevent, who had harassed women more than the law perhaps permitted. Major issues confronting women's unity. These are communalism and casteism, daily encounters with oppressions against alcohol, against dowry, against sexual abuse, rape, environment and livelihood. Coming towards the communalism and casteism. The issue of communalism was taken up by All India Women Conference in 30s. In 1932, both their district branches and the annual conference organized protest against the re reservation of separate seat of women in the legislature applying communal criteria. The Bombay branch got involved in right belief and the Andhra Pradesh branch started a campaign against religious prayers in the school. Communalism and casteism have taken a horribly violent and ugly form ever since the carving out of the country and communal lines. Intolerance of the lower caste and of the religious and racial minorities has increased by the leaps and bounds. Mobilization among women in protest and self-defense has also become stronger and wider. Against alcohol Bheel women were the first known to have raised their voice against the alcohol menace by breaking liquor pot in 1972. The anti erect moment in Nellore in Andhra Pradesh. The unending or increasing improve, 
improvement of the family is also mainly because of man's income being wasted in his menance against dowry progressive organization of women hyderabad was the first to organize powerful movement against dowry in 1975 mahila dakshita smriti was the pioneer body in delhi in this regard now its scope like in case of all other similar organization has spread over to all other areas concerning women oppressions and subjections against sexual abuse rape against sexual abuse rape and other form of sexual abuse are the most common and frequent of crimes against women and yet the most unreported this is the most easily available and ego satisfying weapon in the hands of male power not merely to overpower women but even to overpower men from the deprived and oppressed communities all form of male domination in fact were based on women economic dependence the two primary structure of women oppressions were thus the sexual division of labor and the culture and politics that rationalized it on the other hand mahila samata sen uh, select dal like most other women bodies believed that men based desire for sexual pleasure had led them to assault women environment and livelihood even in the age of highly advanced science and technology food and all that a human being needs come from nature and environment It started with women breaking forest laws in pre-independence India. Chipko and Narmada Bachao movement are good example in this regard. The self-employed women Union of South Africa had copied the model in totality and these two of gather have been able to influence ILO to enact international laws giving recognition and protection to the home based workers next is women in politics or politics by women first is the telangana movement bodh gaya movement dalit women's movement adivasi women movement movement through literature theater and other form of expressions coming towards the telangana movement women participation was significant in the telangana movement for land and related eco political rights though the leadership was with men the movement could have died early if not for the strong and sustained motivation from the women it started against the injustice for the british raj and continued against the continuation of injustice even under their own government bodh gaya moment another landmark moment for land that is livelihood of economic rights by women was the forceful acquisition of the pata by the peasant women who had collected from in and around bodh gaya that is bihar the men were not putting in enough efforts or resources into the land due to drinking and other bad habits the unexpected success become a terrific inspiration for all united efforts by women next is the dalit women's movement it will not be wrong to say that dalit women got first organized by the self taught dalit couple the fulis in maharashtra The Phule couple can also be called one of the founders of the government of women's right in 19th century. At present, Janwadi Mahila Samiti is the strongest supporter of this movement. 
Next is Adivasi Women Moment. In the North Tatcher Hills of Nagaland, Gudialo, affectionately called Rani, became famous for her role in the civil disobedience movement. She got involved at a very large age of 13, early age of 13, inspired by her male cousin, Jado Nang, who was active in mobilizing the villages in Manipur. In 1931-32, Rani led a no-tax campaign having taken over the reins of leadership from her cousin brother who was hanged by the Raj. Women through literature, theme and other forms of expression. There was a bit of full in the first few decades after independence. Maybe the woman took a little time to realize that 1947 did not bring any independence for them. Lately, with the rising strength in women's movement for equality, there has been a spurt in writing films and plays by women and on women. Powerful women writers like Arundhati Roy are going the women only field and taking up the cause of humanism or universal human rights much more forcefully than men. And in the last, there are some questions which are based on the session. These are question number one, explain Adivasi woman moment. And the question number two is discuss prohibition of child marriage. That's all for this session. Thank you. Happy learning. We learning.